Glass bottle, the fucking Evian and all that. Fucking shit. Plastic bottles with all their fucking plastic shit. Then everyone would drink it happily. The only reason people are worried about tap water is because of the fucking bottle. Not the tap water. Tap water is fucking infested shit. I know that. I know that tap water is... Maybe not the cold water tap as much, but the, the hot water tap. Because ever since I was young, it burnt my eyes. I'm um, thinking, people are saying it's just water. And then I'm thinking, what's burning my eyes? It's water. Yeah, fucking all the chemicals in it are burning my eyes. It's not the water, it's all the fucking shit they've dumped in it. That's what's burning my eyes. Because water wouldn't burn my eyes. It's all the shit they've put in it. That's what's burning my eyes. So, there we go. Stop and start again. At least I'm remembering. I'm remembering the stop and start. What's in here then? A bit of wood. Just gonna make a shit pickaxe. Oh yeah, sticks. Gotta make sticks. Um, yeah, but I don't think... I think bottled water is a good idea. If it's actually proper bottled water, is isn't from some fucking shithole factory, it's actually... Actually, um, from a mountain or some place like that, then it's fine. I don't think it's a scam. I just think it needs a better glass bottle. And then, then glass bottles can be recycled better than plastic. It's just fucking obvious. You can crush glass into a little powder. You can't do that with plastic, can you? You crush it. You can crush plastic, but you can't do the same as you can with glass. Vape. Vaporizing into a tiny little powder. You can't do that with plastic, can you? Anyway, what's next? Dropouts. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Didn't think of that. <laughs> well, I found... Uh, I'm going to have to check how much gigabytes i got left. One minute. Lots. 94. So, uh, let's read the next one. We're getting there, it'll be over soon. Dropouts. Ugh. My throat's fucked. The right side... The left side's not too bad, but the right side is starting to hurt. Individual attention in safe schools and smaller classes. Is that the way to stop students to drop out? Individual attention in safe schools and smaller classes. Is that the way to stop students to drop out? What do you mean drop out? Why are, why are these stupid questions? Why are, they, why are they worded so stupidly? What's dropping out got to do with educating the child individually? It would be a better idea to focus on the individual. Not the fucking work. Just like Deadliest Warrior. That's that's just reminding me of Deadliest Warrior and Spoonie's commentary on it. Um, where he says, and other people said too on YouTube comments and things, that they don't focus on the warrior, they focus on the weapons. That would be the same with schools. They focus on the work and not the pupil. They don't focus on the person, they just focus on the work. They don't focus on... Yeah, that's it. That's just basically what schools are. Focusing on the work, not on the actual person. You could give them individual attention in schools, but if you're going to give them individual attention, just keeping teaching them the same crap, the same system as you do it with everything else, and you're not actually talking to them, asking them what, what, what they want to learn, and then teaching them and learning with them what they want to learn. I think that's another thing, learning with them rather than actually teaching them. I think learning with them would be a much better idea than teaching them. Having... Oh, stop doing that. Yeah, I think learning with them rather than just teaching them would be a better idea. Considering all the teachers, or most of the teachers, don't know fuck all anyway, and they just teach out of a book. 
and they don't know the information themselves, and they're actually they're actually fucking meant to be teaching. Then there, there should be no teaching. That's what I'll say. There should be no teaching. There should be only learning. Just learning, no teaching. You the one who killed me. Ah, uh, fucking. Only learning, no teaching. Because they have to learn. They have to learn how to learn. Not just be taught a load of shit. They have to actually teach themselves. I think that's a better idea. But actually learning what they want to learn. Not learning a load of crap. Not learning shit that the teachers and the world wants them to learn. What they want to learn. Uh. Yep. But anyway, what's next? Iraq. What are the best exit strategies? Leaving. Plane. Like, boat. Plane. Boat. That's the best exit strategy. Helicopter. There we go. Helicopter. Boat. Plane. That's it. That's the best exit strategy. Just secure all the... Secure the area. And then just leave. Just put up a barricade. Where you're gonna leave, where you're gonna ship out, and ship out. That would be it. That's the best ex exit strategy, isn't it? Like, what was their goal in there? To get rid of Saddam? He's dead, isn't he? Hung. So he's dead. There's no reason there for them to be there, is there? They've already got rid of Dictator, haven't they? Well, so why are they fucking there? Uh, I'm sure many people have asked that, but the best exit strategy is... Uh, the best exit strategy is just fucking exiting. That is the best exit strategy. It's not fucking hard. Just fucking leave. Oh fuck it. Block myself in. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of pebble. Duh. I'm alive. I'm alive. What would have been if I had more dirt on me? But then again, I would have been just stuck. Oh, fuck it. Barry dies. Oh, what's next? And uh, next. Speech privacy. What are the best technologies to safeguard the right of free speech privacy on the internet? None. The best technology to safeguard the right of free speech on the internet is no technology to safeguard the rights of free speech on the internet or free speech privacy what's free speech privacy well i didn't know it's privacy but yeah free speech no program would be the best but for free speech privacy the best i'd still say no program that's the best to safeguard free speech privacy if it's to do with free speech there should be no technology to safeguard it just none it's simple really Anyway, the next, minimum wage. Why should we have a minimum wage, or why not? We shouldn't have a wage. That's why I say, I say, I'd say, necessities, everyone can have. Be crops growing everywhere, if you want your fucking food, go harvest it yourself. No, f f crop, if people want their own little farm, their own little land, they can do it. If no one else has that land, no one's on the land. If the land isn't occupied, we'll say, by someone else, it's free reign for you to start planting shit. But everywhere, plant food everywhere, you want the food, you go harvest it yourself. So that's food sorted. Shelter, build your own fucking shelter. Find a little patch of dirt like that, build a little, or dig a little hole here. You dig a little hole and live in it. That's it. Sorted. So there should be no wage at all, that's what I say. Get rid of money. Fuck money. Make the... Make the... The luxuries... You have to make money or whatever. But the necessities... Uh, free. Free necessities. Uh, it would be... You'd have to really think about it. If you were going to change the system, you'd have to really think about how to do it. I think getting your own food and your own... People do that anyway. They go to a fucking supermarket and get it. Yeah, I think there'd still be people butchering animals because they like it, bro. There'd still be farmers. Let the farmers have their farms. 
even if they're not making money, they can work. They can work for less. No, they they can work not as hard. They can take a break because they're not going to be worried about money. It will, the only farmers are the people who like farming. Once again, I remember something from poker. Just to show there are some people in the world that do things because they like it. Lumberjacks, or I think it was a lumberjack. This guy from maybe the 2008 World Series. Moon, the one with Kada. Maybe Moon something, I think it was. And he said in one of his interviews, so he'd already made a couple of hundred thousand dollars, maybe a million dollars, because he came second. A few million, and he was saying, no matter how much money I get, I'm still going to do my job. Still going to go out cutting trees and all that shit. So that just shows there are people in the world who don't do it for money. They do it because they want to do it. And if there weren't no money, there'd only be people doing what they want to do. There'd only be... who? There's, there's doctors.